Greetings. Peace and blessings, everyone. How's everybody doing today? I'm the Moon Mama. Happy Tuesday. Um, good morning. Good morning. So, today is Tuesday, and Tuesday is the day that is ruled by Mars. And Mars is the planet that governs... Um, Mars is... Mars is... All of the planets are um complex energetic systems that we are in relationship with through this reality that is our that is our physical presence and then also we have um other bodies we have invisible bodies so we have a sensory body we have a pleasure a body that desires pleasure and food we have we have um our desire body, like we have all of these bodies that all interact together. Um, and the more that we can become conscious of them and conscious of how we function, the conscious of how we really are relating and develop ourselves, the more power we can gain in our lives. So let me say that I'm a little bit out of it, honestly just a tiny bit and the reason why is because this moon cycle is moving through all of my major um aspects and 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 I've been doing a lot of work to create a new to create new patterns um and I'm having to really dig into my old ways of being and confront aspects of myself that I didn't even know were there. And the reason this is happening is because the South Node is moving through Scorpio and the South Node through Scorpio is literally digging out our patterns. It's like digging out the patterns. It just reminds me of like, when I think of the South Node in Scorpio, I think of an archeological dig <laughs> and, you know, digging up bones and being like, what was this for? And what did they do this for? And that's what I feel like I'm doing in my own psyche right now. And so this morning I was doing some meditation and work. Um, I work with some plant medicine. I've been working with Sananga and I bumped into devastation inside of myself. The aspect of me that has been deeply disappointed from my expectations that something or someone else would save me from myself or life, right? The sense of hopelessness that I in and of myself am not enough to be able to do what it is that I deeply desire. So then I am having an expectation that others, somebody else is going to come and do it. And so what I've been doing is just looking at those stories. What is that as a woman? Oh, I was taught that I should have a husband, a partner who's going to do this and this and that and going to make sure I'm safe and protect. And so, so because the partner is going to make sure I'm safe and protect and serve, I've not developed my own skills that would create safety and protection in my own life because there's an expectation that somebody else is going to do this, right? Or the expectation, like there've been so many, like I bumped into like the devastation that I felt when my mother died. Like I could feel it in my body, just devastated by the disappointment, by the experience, by the by the expectation never going to be fulfilled because now this person has died. The same with my father. Like literally the devastation that I've been holding, believing that external things and external experiences were going to give me something that I didn't believe that I could give myself. Does this make sense to anybody? <laughs> Does anybody else have this? Has anybody else, you know, had an expectation that they were going to get something and it was going to deliver them to some sort of feeling or way of being and that was going to be the solution <laughs> to all the things, right? Exactly, right? So, um okay, perfect. So, so as I have been really facing my world and my reality, 
I'm removing the barriers that have piled up of like, you know, I meet somebody and I think, oh my God, this person is going to be the love. This is going to be it. And then we get into an experience and it's like, fuck, it's not, ah, right? And so that stuff is a pile up that creates energetic residues that keep you um, from they, that keep you're trying to keep the experience at bay. It's like when you experience devastation, this idea that you build up all this desire and expectation and scenarios in the imagination and then it doesn't get met and it collapses like a sandcastle. And then what are you left with? What are you left with when the need, the expectation is not fulfilled. And this is a Mars thing, right? Because Mars is the place where we have to understand our own capacity to generate our own lives. Mars says you are the creator of your reality. And if you're creating the reality that somebody else has more power than you, it has to collapse because no one has more power than you. So, th like, and we're we're conditioned to do this in our culture, right? This is why they teach us to vote. Go vote and give this person over here the power to do the thing that you could, don't believe that you can do, and then. They never meet the expectation because that's not how it works. And let me say, I'm still in the midst of this. So I'm still working it out inside of myself. But I, I can see really clearly how we're conditioned to do it and how we are told to believe that this thing is going to offer you some sort of feeling that you can't generate on your own. And that is always an illusion. That's that's what I know right now. So let me say, Talia says, been doing so much work to give myself not just the things that I think I need that are outside of myself, but coming back to what I need internally. Meeting your own expectations, yes. And then you have to get clear about what those expectations are. Crystal says, ooh, I felt the same way about my father dying from a heroin addiction. Yes. It's like these these experience and, and desires that we that we that the culture, let me tell you, the expectations come from the culture telling you how things should be. Because the culture will give us ideals. What the cultural ideals, right? If you look this way, it's ideal. If you have this much money, it's ideal. If you have this kind of relation, but all those are ideals that are based in nothing. They are, it's made up shit. It's all just the cultural agreements. And then we all get in the race to aspire to it. And some people can, some people can reach those cultural expectations and then most cannot. So the most of us are just on a hamster reel, uh, uh, you know, de disappointed, devastated, trying to get to it to the best way we can when we're, when we're just all in the illusion and the rat race because all of these things we're aspiring to really are empty. They're empty. If they're not based in our own true contract with the universe, contract with our soul. We have a soul body. We have a spirit body. We have a emotional body. If they're not based in that, then they're empty and we're just wasting our power. We're just delaying our power because your power really never gets wasted. Like you cannot, you just, it's just stored somewhere until you use it correctly. Right. Um, and that might be several lifetimes from now. You might die several times and come back and in the same energetic, especially depending on where your family was, right? So if your family, the, how we pursue degrees and all of all these external things that bring us out of our 
relationship to our true nature, to who we truly are. And these things drain us and deplete us and exhaust us and age us and keep us out of our true power. And it's it's such a tricky thing because, you know, I was having some conversations on Instagram earlier this morning with people who just still people still believe that voting and you know everybody has to come along in the in the time that they do but people still believe that voting like black people believe that voting is the way that we are going to get ourselves free in this system i i just find that to be incredible like they just put a black woman on the supreme court and a month later come out with a, a law that says people who are on death row cannot access, who are on death row unjustifiably, who did not commit the crime, okay? People who are there who did not commit the crime no longer have a pathway to exonerating and defending themselves. Now, why would we participate in a system that is clearly broken or working like people are like that it's not broken it's working right but that clearly is serving us into our own demise why would we do that joe biden is the president of the united states joe biden was one of the per people who petitioned and created the crime bill that has millions of people who are in prison because the prison system is an industry that makes people rich it's unjustifiable it doesn't work why would we continue to participate in something that we see doesn't work because we have expectations and we don't understand that our expectations are misaligned so that the expectations don't meet the actions to actually get the results that we desire. This is a misuse of our Mars energy. Using your energy in one way, expecting a different result. It's crazy. It is, it is fucking insane to believe that we can participate in a system that is designed for the well-being and the upright support of white supremacy, which is not accurate, which goes against nature because whites are not superior at anything at all, except this false reality, right? So literally the what to support the reality that is false can <laughs> okay it doesn't make sense it is insanity and so it is important for us to begin to see that these external expectations are misaligned with our internal systems and choices and begin to do the work to see it clearly for what it is, just to tell yourself the truth about it, right? Just to say, I made a mistake, or this isn't what I thought it was, or whatever it is, right? Can't Do you have the courage to tell yourself the truth about what you're doing and own that it is out of alignment? And when you can do that, when you can tell yourself the truth about it, you can tell yourself a truth like, oh, I made a mistake. When I was actually able to say like, oh, I believe that this political system was designed in a different way. I believe I did. I believed it. I drank the Kool-Aid. I, I bought in I, and, I, and I participated. And when I was able to say that I see what I have done and I see the error that I have made, I see it. Then the error becomes something that actually benefits you. It's like, oh, now I see, and then it'll turn in, it'll morph into something else through your integrity and your honesty with yourself. That's the gift here. If you can say, I thought it was one thing, I see that it's something else. Okay, I see that it's something else. And this is why I thought it was this, because this is what I was taught. Because what is important for us to begin to see that we're being lied to, we're being misled we're being gaslit 
in this country, in this nation. And if we can humble ourselves enough to be able to acknowledge that and admit that, we're going to be able to make so much progress. If we can say, oh, I thought it was one thing. I hoped it was one thing and it's something else. Even in your relationships, in every player, in every area of your life where you had an expectation, I, I wanted this to be the result. So I did these things and, and I believed it and, it and it was not so. And, and then forgive yourself. Then forgive yourself. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I didn't know better. I was Because we were all taught this. We were all taught and told and promised that this was the solution. We were all taught and told and promised that if you find love and this is how it should look and, and, and you believed it, right? It's okay that you believed what they told you. It's okay. And it's okay that it worked out the way that it was supposed to work out because they knew that they were misleading and being deceptive. They knew that. But we did not know. We didn't know. It's okay. It's okay we didn't know. But if you have the courage to recover yourself, to say, oh, I, I thought that this was true and I did this and, and, and it's not. And okay, so now let me collect myself and let me get myself together. <laughs> That's it, right? And we're going to start again. This is devastation. This is the power of being with devastation and false expectations and um, choices that and choices that um, that we wanted to participate, that we wanted to be fulfilled in one way and are not, right? This is it. This is it. So, oh, that's deep. The election day is, yeah, I see it. That's right. It is election day today. It's so interesting. I'm talking about this stuff. I didn't know that it was election day. Um, been preaching this about voting. It might count on the local. That's right. It counts on the local level in some ways, but it does not count at the federal level. And it's important for us to be conscious about where we're putting our energy, right? Like, would you spend your money on something that is not going to give you what you think you're actually buying? We have to really become more mature so that we are not just as sheep following the herd ask questions, really be diligent, do your due diligence in every area of your life. Like be willing to see what you have not been willing to see before and ask, what is it that I need to see here that I'm not willing to see? In every area of your life, if you've been sensing something is off or feeling something, what is it that I'm willing to, that I'm not, what is it that I've been missing? What is it that I, do ask yourself that and you will be seen. Now, here's the thing. Many times we're afraid to ask this because we know that if we ask, we're going to see and we're going to have to make a new choice. You're going to. But if you if you do it now, because it's coming down the line anyway, it's coming down the line anyway. So don't delay it because it just gets worse. It just gets harder to let go of. When you don't, when you delay it, it becomes more difficult. So Mars, Mars is in Aries at the 10th degree and Mars in Aries at the 10th degree is about reciprocity. It literally is reciprocity. It's understanding the reciprocity, right? So if you are working in illusions and being blind, then you're going to get more fucking sandcastles. You're going to get more of what you have been getting. And it's important for us to realize that everything in this reality, the way we have been doing it up till now, is all based in illusion and lies and false narratives. The stories we've been told about love, the stories we've been told about medicine, the stories we've been told about education, the stories we've been told about elected officials and leadership, the stories we've been told, all of it false. Literally the entire system is built on people, on systems that were born to vampiric, steal from the earth, steal from the humans, steal from like literally and give nothing back. And so we have to realize our own naivete, right? I've been naive. I've been, I've been gullible, right? I've been right. And because we didn't know, we didn't know and forgive yourself 
and then ask, what are the best ways for me to move forward? What are the best ways for me to move forward? What are, what are the best ways for me to recoup my energy? Because your energy can be recuperated. That's the thing. Your energy isn't lost. You just need to recuperate it. And if you want to learn how to do this, come sign up for the Saturn Retrograde class because that's where we're doing the work to break the karma, to heal the curses, to renew our power, to understand how we've been functioning and how we can begin to function in a new way. And, and we have to do the work to recover it. It doesn't happen magically. It doesn't just fucking go away. <laughs> because if you've been told to believe something, that seed is rooted deeply in your subconscious and it has to be uprooted. And if you don't uproot it, then your children inherit it. So then they will have to uproot it. And if they don't uproot it, it just keeps getting passed down, right? So today's a Mars day. What actions are you going to take? The, we're in the first quarter moon. The moon is in Virgo. Today is a day for us to make a decision. It's literally a shit or get off the pot day. It's literally like the old systems are going to start crumbling really quickly. And it's a shit or get off the pot. What choice is in front of you to make that you know you need to make, that you've been delaying, that you know you need to face, that you have not been willing to face or ready, but it's time now. You cannot delay it any longer. It's time now to stand in the truth and see yourself authentically and take and make a choice for your power and well-being to recover it, to heal yourself, to regenerate a new reality out of your own consciousness. And, and you can't do it in any other way than believing and taking heed to who you're here to be. Nobody can save you. Nobody can rescue you. I create courses that allow us, that create the environment for us to do the work to recover ourselves. But I'm not doing it for you. I'm just creating and giving you the tools and everything you need to do it because I've done the work already. So I, I create the environment so that everyone else can do the work that I know that I've done. And it looks different for everyone. It's not the same. But because I do my work with the astrology, the astrology helps because we're all connected to astro to astrological um to the astrological energies. So the moon today is in Virgo at the first quarter phase. And so literally it's asking you, what's the new choice you're going to make? What's the new step you're going to take towards your freedom, towards your authentic self, towards your contract with the universe, towards your God self. And, um, and, and t unless you're ready and willing to become God in your own life, there is no other path. There is no, all the other roads are ending. They are dying. All the other roads that would lead us to others and a belief in another and an ideal that something outside of us is going to save us, it's all over. It's all finished. There is no more. So you can only do one thing, get on the path to be yourself. That is it. All right, you all. I love y'all so very much. This month is really incredible because we're doing a lot of deep work to transform our realities, shift our perceptions um, because Mercury was in retrograde. We had just came out of an eclipse um, last month and we're about, we just, yeah, there's just so much happening. All right, you all. Peace and blessings. Have a really beautiful day. Bye-bye.